the President's Interagency Task Force to monitor and combat human trafficking in persons, members of the Senior Policy Operating Group, federal and state agencies, non-profit NGOs, and community members, ladies and gentlemen, it is with sincere gratitude and honor that I welcome you to the first annual report of the U.S. Advisory Council on Human Trafficking. The Advisory Council <laughs> The Advisory Council on Human Trafficking is comprised of 11 survival leaders who bring their knowledge and experience and advice to provide recommendations to federal anti-trafficking policies to the President's Interagency Task Force to monitor and combat human trafficking in persons. The Council was established in May 2015 by Section 115 of the Justice for Victims of Trafficking Act, also known as the Survivors of Human Trafficking Empowerment Act. And in December 2015, President Barack Obama appointed 11 members of the council, namely Honorable Chandra Wawurutu, Honorable Ronnie Mari, Honorable Ima Masaira, Honorable Min Dang, Honorable Harold De Souza, Honorable Evelyn Chumbo, Honorable Swamias Piraino Guzman, Honorable Flor Molina, Honorable Tina Front, Honorable Sheila White, and myself, Honorable Bukola Love Riola. This report provides actionable recommendations to the U.S. government for its work, both nationally and internationally, as it collaborates with state and local governments, NGOs, faith-based organizations, community members, businesses, and philanthropists to further engage survivors to prevent human trafficking and ingrain survivors as allies for lasting solution to this heinous crime. For each topic addressed, the report provides an overview, identifies three recommendations to improve federal anti-trafficking policies, highlights areas for future collaboration. This report will help the federal government understand how to implement policies that will better the lives of survivors of human trafficking within and outside the United States. It is commendable to see the United States taking the lead among nations around the world to play survivors in key roles such as the appointment by President Obama of the first U.S. Advisory Council on Human Trafficking, which provides a formal platform for human trafficking survivors to advise and make recommendations on federal anti-trafficking policies. It is encouraging to learn that the Obama administration recognizes the enormous value that survivors of human trafficking bring to combat this 150 billion criminal industry. Survivors of human trafficking have a compelling role to play in combating human trafficking throughout the world. As subject matter experts, survivors bring a profound understanding of human trafficking based on their direct experiences. They provide the clues investigators need as evidence in court, as well as the signs a community needs to recognize trafficking to prevent its citizenry from becoming victims. Thank you all once again for your time, and God bless you.